Hi, and welcome to another episode of Hot Takes with me, the Silver Fox. Just the other day, we did the story about Audrey Dempsey. She was a Labour councillor who raised the issue of increasing attacks on white pupils and teachers in schools by non-white individuals. She was castigated, disowned. Uh, people walked away from this point. They didn't want to acknowledge it. There was an awful lot of a uh, sort of kickback against her, and so it was it was made clear that she shouldn't be saying things like this because it wasn't helpful. It went against the narrative. It was against the agenda. It was against the message. Well, it's been a few days, and it's been announced that Miss Dempsey has been suspended by the Labour Party. They are so concerned with her raising legitimate issues over racist attacks by non-whites on whites that it's uh, too difficult for them to accept and to address. And so they found the easiest way is to very valiantly run away and hide and suspend her from the party so that no one in the Labour Party will be raising this issue. Meanwhile, kids continue, of course, to get attacked and the problem is swept under the carpet. You can guarantee if it was the other way around, there would be a huge outcry. Let's take a look. It's funny, isn't it, how a party led by an Asian man, Anasawa, does not want to accept that people who are not white are attacking white people. After all, we all know that this problem only travels in one direction, and that's the message that we have to accept. We are white and we are therefore in the wrong. We are the ones doing the oppression. We are the ones doing the harm. It is never the other way round. Oh no, siree, Bob. Please look away. Nothing to see here. So Scottish Labour suspends councillor who claimed anti-white racist attacks are rising. Action was taken against Audrey Dempsey amid concerns over her social media output. Yes, because the truth must never come out in today's modern anti-white, anti-Western um, anti valued Labour Party. Scottish Labour have suspended a councillor who claimed racist attacks on white children and teachers are rising. And a Sawar's party, odd isn't it, uh, acted amid reports that Audrey Dempsey had said Asylum seekers get priority over native Scots. This also we know is true. Asylum seekers will be given houses over and above. Native Scots have been here their whole lives, who've paid taxes and so on. Uh, Dempsey, who represents the Springburn and Rob Royston Ward on Glasgow Council, caused alarm in party circles last week after tabling a question on racist attacks in schools. According to, what, according to the Herald, it read, to ask the relevant convener if they are aware of the rising racist attacks on white children and teachers in our schools and how do they plan to tackle this? To me, that is a legitimate question. These things happen. It must be questioned, but not in the Labour Party, not at that kind of level, because it's awkward, it's difficult, it's problematic, especially when you've chosen a non-national to lead your party. A party spokesman today said the Labour Party takes all complaints seriously. Well, that is clearly a lie, uh, because otherwise they'd look at the complaint instead of basically firing the complainee. Uh, they are fully investigated in line with our rules and procedures and any appropriate action is taken. Of course, the appropriate action here is firing her, get rid of her, she's problematic. She's raising issues that embarrass the um, Pakistani heritage leader of our party. It is understood she's now been suspended over content on her social media accounts, pending the outcome of any investigation. The National also revealed she'd made offensive remarks about refugees. I don't think the truth can be offensive. The truth is just the truth. And I don't think it's offensive when you highlight what is actually happening. Now, you may be offended by the truth. You may be finding the truth unpalatable or difficult to comprehend. But it doesn't make the truth offensive. And there are now deleted TikTok videos. She said the problem with asylum seekers is the priority given to them over people who've lived in the country all their lives. I mean, seriously, hand up if you agree with her. Um, 
she says asylum seekers are not at fault but the arrangement between government and home office is so she's not even blaming the asylum seekers she's saying it's a governmental issue uh, it's for the same of getting the money uh, for the, getting the money the government seemed quite willing to generate uh, she also liked to comment from others uh, other users including one referring to the first minister as Hamza Hamas yeah, I agree we all do we all know I do am I suspended by my local Labour Party not a chance mate would never join it uh, she's now been suspended because they don't like the truth they don't like the fact that she's raising issues that are important in the vast majority of people's lives and for which all the major parties are too scared to address in case they are seen as being a bit iffy you know oh gosh it's a difficult question oh look you know because obviously you've got all these all, all these problems haven't you all these race problems generated particularly usually by one gang uh, let's just say but they are there. They are genuine problems. She's raising them. She's got the strength. I, I, honestly, I, I thank her for raising them. I wish her well. I wish her luck. Because she has got something that none of the others have got, apparently. Balls. No one in Labour may address this now. Because they're going to go, oh God, this is a difficult one, isn't it? We're talking about Asians, aren't we? We're talking about Muslim kids beating up white kids. Let's be honest. Yeah? They're not saying it, but that's what we're talking about. Uh, but of course, if you've got a Pakistani Muslim as a leader of your party, you can't be raising that in case it's like very embarrassing for him. But why would it be embarrassing? Unless, of course, it's something that he agrees with. Otherwise, he'd come out and say, yes, it is a problem. It's something we do need to address. Some members of my own community need to be educated on this. But he's not coming out and doing that. He's running away and hiding. The coward. But then that's the problem, isn't it? They're all cowards. Anyway, Audrey, well done for raising it. That's what I'm going to say. Um, anyway, Dempsey had initially doubled down on the claim of anti-white racism in school. She said it was baffling that the SNP would turn this into a political attack when they have never once approached me to find the basis of the question and the situations that led to it being submitted. And she added, if someone hinted to myself that children were suffering abuse, I would do all I could to find out the details and resolve it for the children, not play political football with it that in itself tells a story it certainly does because you know how these parties just love children and i use that word quite inappropriately they're all after the children aren't they they're obsessed with them and of course they don't want to be looking to protect these children far from it in some of these cases but uh, yeah, they're all craven, aren't they? They're all cowardly little men who go, oh God, no, we can't address the race problem. Oh, it's too difficult because we'll end up looking like racists if we stand up and say, yes, this is actually happening in the real world and we must address the issue. There will come a point when there will be citizen justice and that's what's going to have to happen, I think. There will have to be a mass uprising and these politicians need to be put in their place. I think their place is dangling, but that's another issue for another video. But once you see a couple of them dangling, the others will soon fall in line, I think. And start doing what the people want, not doing what they think the people want. Because often there's a massive difference. Coming up. Now all these, all these politicians, they'll look the other way. They'll bury their head in the sand. You know, they won't address this issue and it will continue to happen. And while this continues to happen, there will be building a resentment. The, the pressure in the cooker will build and build and build until eventually it explodes. This is one of those problems that they have to deal with. They have to deal with it quickly and put into it early because the more they ignore this problem, the worse it gets. And then you're going to end up with absolute race riots. And we've seen it before time and time again. And when that happens, the many will beat the few. And the next thing you'll know, there'll be terrible clamp down and saying, oh, look at Scotland, it's all racist. Look what they did, all this, all this. This isn't the people. This is the politicians. The politicians are creating the very environment for which they say they don't want to happen because of their basically spineless approach to dealing with difficult matters. If you don't have the spine to stand there and say, it's a problem, we must deal with it, then get the hell out of politics, you weak people. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. Do please hit the subscribe button, ring the bell, leave a like, leave a comment, please share the video. And until next time, stay safe, stay well, and I will speak to you later.
Bye.